It's not every day that passengers get to experience traveling in a 1943 de Havilland Dominie plane, aka Tui. But they might this April. So the grand old lady of the Queenstown aviation history will return here to the skies in April for a 70-year uh, Pioneer Airline reunion. Queenstown pilot Hank Sproul was 10 years old when the Dominies were first flown in Queenstown Airport. He is now one of the longest serving members of the Queenstown Airport's general aviation community. I think the reunion is going to be great to get um, people together, all the old people that flew here in, in the pioneering days. The eight-seater aircraft was built in the early 40s and used for scenic, scheduled and charter work from Queenstown Airport. And there's a saying in aviation, if it looks good, it is good and they are good. So that is um, probably the special part of the Domini, you know, it's like it's, it's very sleek, elliptical wings, very streamlined and for probably for its time way ahead of, of uh, the design way ahead of what, um, what it was designed for. Richard Waugh, an aviation historian, remembers his father Brian Waugh flying in a Domini in Queenstown. Flying Dominies and Cessnas and then uh, served on the, the west coast in South Westland which was related to the Queenstown Airline. The Queenstown Airport Corporation has helped pay for the 1943 de Havilland aircraft come to Queenstown. It's really celebrating the history of this airport uh, and, and its roots as a general aviation uh, airport and aerodrome. Now fully restored for commercial use, the plane will be available during the reunion for those who fancy a ride. Mina, I'm so the South today.